Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force. Today I'm here with Lavi, who is the designer behind this new ship, the USS The Sullivans. And this is a US Navy Fletcher class destroyer used during the Second World War. Many Fletchers were built 175, so this is quite an iconic ship. And I wanted to do a tutorial on this for quite a long time. So thanks to Laffy for making this possible. And I also helped design just making things more accurate. So this ship is actually named after the five Sullivan brothers who all died on the same ship, the USS Juno, when it was sunk by a Japanese submarine during the Battle of Guadalcanal in 1942. And this ship was commissioned in 1943, so a year um, after I think President Roosevelt ordered it or something like that um, in honor of them. So um, it's also a significant ship because it actually is one of the Fletchers that are preserved today. It is in Buffalo, New York, although they did modernize it. Uh, and I think the ship was used during the Korean War as well. So it looks a little bit different. The one we're building is from World War II. Uh, but yeah, let's go take a look at the armaments that we have. So we got these 5-inch 38 caliber guns. There's actually five of them. So there's two here in the front. And three there in the back, and I think this is like one of the iconic ways to tell uh, if something's a Fletcher, although there are some similar destroyers. And then next up we got some anti-aircraft guns. I think Laffy said they were like 40 millimeter, so we got them, two uh, little nests right there. And we also have this bridge. Now the Fletcher, it actually has, I think, two main types of bridges. One is like this bridge, where this thing is on an angle. While the other one, it's more circular, and I will show you later on the video, Laffy actually made, you know, another destroyer that was like that. Right over here on top, we got the fire control, and uh, we got the director right here to transmit data to the firing crews, I believe that's what's for. And if we move further down in the ship, we got some torpedo tubes right over here, so these things could actually rotate, and then you would basically, like, sit on top of it like that and, you know, aim it. And there's also some more torpedo tubes right there. Another anti-aircraft gun nest right here. Um, I, I don't know, what are these? Maybe like 50 caliber machine guns on the side. We even got some depth charges to deal with anti-submarine warfare. And then same thing on the other side. We also do got some more, <laughs> some more machine guns here. Maybe anti-aircraft gun. And then in the back, some more depth charges. So there's definitely a lot of like uh, military weapons on board this ship. Uh, but besides that, some other details we got. We got the anchor right here. We got the pennant number. Um, over down over here, we got some lifeboats here on the side. Another like watercraft right there, a little boat. Some cranes over here, as well as uh, this thing right here. This is actually a three-leaf clover, and that's the icon of the USS Sullivan. So they have it on the first stack, uh, whatever the smokestack is. We got another lifeboat here. And uh, here's what the bottom of the ship actually looks like. So we got some propeller detail. And uh, one little thing on the bottom is going to be this little bump for the sonar to detect submarines. So that's a cool little detail. Now this ship is actually using the Measure 22 camouflage. So what that is is basically like this gray line that goes all the way across horizontally in a straight line. And not really following the hull, but just going straight across like that. Now here's what it looks like out of the water. Now you can see clearly what it looks like, the whole shape. And for this uh, color scape, I said it was measure 22. But there are some other ones used during World War II. <laughs> like we have the USS Nicholas right over here. And that's what we were originally planning on doing a tutorial on. But, you know, it's actually going to be quite complicated to do all of this. So, you know, Measure 22 is a nice, simple design. A lot of World War II ships, they had these camouflage. Uh, but nowadays, they just have like the one, you know, Battleship Gray. So this is just another example of a different Fletcher class story. It's actually a lot different from uh, the USS the Sullivans. And you can see right here where I talked before of the bridge being different. Yes, this is actually... Uh, the other type of bridge where it's like more rounded out. <laughs> I'm a more fan of the angular one, which the USS Sullivan's has. So that's what we're going to be building on today. So I hope you guys um, enjoy the video. And thanks again to Laffy for uh, taking the time to actually build this. Uh, but yeah, let's get started first by building this frame. And by the way, for those wondering how long the ship is, it is 172 blocks long. I know people always ask whenever I do these ship tutorials because these are quite huge so you want to know uh, what the size is so first off we'll grab some materials we'll get stone gray concrete black concrete and red terracotta once we have that um, I'm assuming you're going to be building this in the water so uh, let's go right over here 
And we're going to pretend this black part is going to be, you know, the water itself. Like the water level, it's going to be right on this level. So imagine water here. And then right above, we're going to make this another black concrete. Then we're going to go down the up and add in um, gray concrete, you know, three blocks tall like this. And then go down the up and add in three stones. Down the up, two stones. Just like that. And we're going to make this a two by two, actually, like so. And then we're going to add in red terracotta underneath it. So we're going to make it five blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five. And then go on a diagonal, add in red terracotta, 16 blocks long. And I'm just going to be using world edit just to save us time because it'll take us forever. This is a long ship. So we're extending it like that, you know, 16 blocks again. And then after that, there's going to be that little bump. So make a two by two red terracotta like that. All right. So next up is going to be this long section here. That's going to be 122 blocks long. I repeat 122. So all the way back over here. It should be looking like this. Once we're at this point, we're going to go dangly up and add another red terracotta. Dangly up another red terracotta. And then dangly up another one. And we'll make this part three blocks long like that. And then we'll go dangly up, add in eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dangly up, add seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we'll go dangly down and we'll add in four. So one, two, three, four. Underneath, we'll make it two blocks tall. Then we'll make a three by three at the bottom of this. Just like that. Then go daily up here, add in two blocks long, just like that. And daily up, two blocks tall black concrete. Daily up, three blocks tall of gray terracotta, just like that. All right, so next up, we're going to take out a granite wall. And we're going to add in a wall right here. All the way down and then we're going to add in another two here then we'll go up over here skip two blocks and add in a brick block like that all right so next up let's go back all the way back to the front all right so at the front we're going to add in another brick fence make it five blocks tall so three four five then let's go down here we'll make an l shape using stone like that add in another two blocks of stone right there and then we'll add in gray um, concrete. We'll make it two blocks long here. We could go all the way down. So looks like this. And we're going to have one sticking out over here. And then let's go underneath and add in two by two black concrete. And then another block sticking out. Then we'll add in uh, three red terracottas. And then right over here, we're going to add in another three on a diagonal. Like that. And then we're going to add in one here at the bottom. And then we'll fill in the rest of this with red terracotta in the front. Just like that. All right, so next we'll take out polish deep slate slab. We're going to add in three here. So one, two, three. Then we'll go down the down, add in cyan terracotta. And we'll make it four blocks long. Then we're going to add in five of these polished deep slate slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. Then go down the down and add in cyan terracotta again. And then we're going to make this seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to add in polished deep slate slab. Make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then underneath we'll add in say and terracotta. Ten blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and like that. Above it we'll add in stone. And we're going to make it three blocks tall like that. Then we're going to add in three cyan terracottas. And then we're going to make an end shape using um, stone. Just like this. Then we're going to add in stone slab to the front and the back of this. Alright, then we'll go back over here. Skip a block, three stones. And then stone slabs in the front and the back of this. And we're going to make these guns. Then we're going to add in stone, so two blocks tall in the front. One block over here, and then we'll make it so it's going to be four blocks tall here in the back. And then we'll go down the up, add another one over here, down the up, add in stone slab. And then we'll add in another two uh, stone blocks like that, and then we'll add in this calcite block 
We're going to add two on a diagonal, add in smooth quartz, and then we'll add in smooth quartz stairs here. And then four stone slabs, so add it just like that. Then we're going to copy this turn design and just build it on the other one. Just like that, same exact design right on top of that. All right, after you do that, we're gonna add in um, Saiyan Terracotta here. And we're gonna make it so it's 20 blocks long. I repeat, 20, just like that. And then we're gonna add in stone block here. And then we're gonna add in three polished deep slate slabs. Just like that. And then we'll skip a block, add in a stone block right there. And then uh, say enter, cut it right underneath. And we're also going to make this 20 blocks long again. So 20 like that. And then skip a block, add in another stone block like that. Polish deep slate slab here. Go daily down. And then add in say enter, cut it like that. And then next we're going to make this so it's 17 blocks long. So let's extend it out. And then we'll add in a stone, and that's going to be three blocks tall. So one, two, three. Underneath, we'll add in Saiyan Terracotta, make it seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on top, we'll add in three blocks tall again, stone like this. And then Saiyan Terracotta. And then we're going to make this segment so it is 25 blocks long. So 25, just like that. And then we'll add in three blocks tall again of stone. All right, and then we'll add in Saiyan Terracotta like this. And this Saiyan Terracotta is actually gonna extend all the way across uh, to the back section. So it should be reaching the back just like that. All right, so next let's go back over here. And then we're gonna skip four blocks. So one, two, three, four, and add in three stone blocks. So four gap there. And then we'll add in stone slab in the front and the back of it. Then we can add in um, another one over here. So we're going to skip three blocks. So one, two, three. And then we'll add in three blocks long stone. So you got the three block wide gap. Add in stone slab to the front and the back of it like that. And then we'll go to the front of this part and skip two blocks. Add in three blocks long stone. Stone slab in the front and the back of it. Now we're going to copy that same, you know, turret design, that 2D turret, and we're going to build it right over here, just the same way, so it looks like that. And the ones here, back to, they're going to be facing the other direction, so I uh, just build it the other way like that. And then the last gun here, so that it should be looking like this. Alright, so next let's go right in between these two guns. And we'll skip a block, add in stone, and make it three blocks tall. Go on the other side, skip two blocks, add in three blocks tall stone. And then uh, Saiyan Terracotta goes all the way across like that. A stone brick block on top of this, and upside down stone brick stairs in the front of that. And then two blocks tall stone. And then right here, three blocks tall stone. And then a polished deep slate slab in between. Then um, behind this, we'll add in a uh, spruce fence gate, three blocks tall. Open them all up just like that. And then next we'll add in a stone brick block here, stone brick slab on top, iron trap door here. Skip a block, upside down, spruce stairs, spruce trap door on top, polished andesite stairs, right uh, in between everything, and an andesite wall right here. Then we'll add in a stone brick slab here, a stone brick stairs, right facing that way, stone brick wall, and then a skeleton skull like that as well as three dark oak fence gates and we're going to open all of them up towards the gun then i'm going to add in a spruce uh, sign in front of that trap door and we're also going to add in this diorite wall underneath all these guns because apparently i forgot that so we added them all uh, just like that underneath as well as these guns here in the front and just like that all right, so next we're gonna go behind uh, the second gun here, and we're gonna skip four blocks and add in a polish in a sight. So skip four here. So one, two, three, four, and add it like that. Three blocks tall. So there's a gap of four between that and the gun. Then we'll add in a stone block on top, a stone stairs, and then a stone slab. Uh, polished deep slate 
slab right there, and stone behind it. Make that three blocks tall like that. And then an upper stone slab right there. Then we're going to go to this back part here and skip two blocks of polished andesite. And we'll add in a stone block. And we'll make it four blocks tall. That. And then we're going to add in on a diagonal stone, three blocks tall. And then we'll add in two polished <laughs> polish deep slates uh, slabs like that. And then we'll add in stone right over here so it matches up with the other stone uh, just like that. And we'll also add in an andesite wall right there. Then on top of this, we'll add in stone nine blocks tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a site wall here. And then 12 blocks tall stone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then at the top, we'll add in a polish and a site right behind it like that. And then a tough block on top. First time I don't even know the name of that tough. That's a new block. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate on the outside of this. Open that up like that. And then the front will add in a polish and a site slab right there, as well as a birch fence gate. Open that up towards the middle. And then we're going to add in an iron bar right here. And we'll make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Make it two blocks tall. Extend it across. It's like this. Actually, it's going to be three blocks tall, so it's even taller than that. So it should be looking like this. All right, so next up, let's go down here, add in a spruce fence gate, open that up. And then we'll go down here, uh, skip this block here, add in a stone stairs upside down, st smooth stone slab in front, um, nether brick fence here with an iron trap door right on top. So then we'll go down here, we're going to skip two blocks, add in an upper cobblestone uh, slab, and then skip two more blocks, add in an upper cobblestone slab and then we'll add in these two nether brick fence on a diagonal like that then we'll go down here skip two blocks add in a cobblestone slab like that go down here and add in a minecraft bell like that nether brick fence on top and then spruce trap doors two of them stacked on top of each other and then we're going to try to make a circle around it at the top and then the front and the back just like this so it's rounded out and then we'll go here in the front, add in a black glass, gray carpet on top, and then cyan terracotta going all the way across. Next up, we're going to skip these two cyans and then add in anise wall, skip two blocks, another one here. And then two blocks wide, stone here, and then four blocks long, stone like that. And then a polished andesite here in the back, and then stone, three blocks here. Another two blocks here, and then andesite right there. Andesite wall right on top. And then we'll add in iron bars, so one here behind it, one to the side. Top of this, we'll add in a polish uh, deep slate stairs like that. And then two blocks wide, andesite stairs. And another two blocks wide, andesite stairs here. And then two blocks wide, stone buttons like that. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate on top open it up towards there another one here on the side open that up towards the middle then let's go down here add in light gray glass panes next to the walls and then andesite walls in the space between all right so next we'll place down this dark oak fence gate on top of this stone open it up towards the front and then we'll go to uh, back down here underneath this gun at the edge we'll add in a stone brick block with a stone brick slab on top Polish in the front of that. And then we'll skip two blocks, add in upside down spruce stairs. Add in a spruce trap door on top, as well as a spruce sign. Then we'll add in an anvil, just like that. And then an iron trap door, stone brick block, stone brick slab, and a site wall, polish in the stairs on top, stone brick stairs stone brick slab and then three dark oak fence gates open them all up towards the gun and then um, a stone brick wall 
and a skeleton skull right at this edge here. So next up we're going to add in an upper deep slate tile slab there. On top to nether brick fence. Go diagonally out and added three blocks tall. Nether brick fence like that. Alright so next we'll move up to the middle part. And we're going to add in a polished inside stairs here. And then we'll make the stone so it's six blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll add in a stone slab here in the front. Stone brick wall with skeleton skull on top. Then we'll add in a spruce fence gate, open that up. And then we're going to extend it so it goes all the way down to the bottom. Then go right here, skip a block, add in stone, five blocks tall, four, five like that. And then stone brick walls behind it. Then we'll add in stone on top, two blocks tall. Behind it, we'll add in stone brick wall, uh, five blocks tall, one, two, three, four, five like that. Then we'll go right here, go daily, add in stone, and cobblestone on top of each of these stone. And then stone on top of that, and then polish anisite on top of that. Just like that. Then we'll go down here, add in another brick fence. We're going to add in on a diagonal, three blocks. Then over here we'll add in lapizuli. Then a TNT, two blocks long like that. Brick slab at the top of the bottom. Stone buttons on either side of this um, lapis azuli. And then we're to go daggly out. Add in um, another TNT, two blocks tall. If you don't like TNT, like someone's gonna blow this thing up, just use brick instead. Anyways, next up, let's go ahead and go over here, make this first smokestack. So we're gonna add in a polished anisite stairs here. And I'm going to make this stone so it's six blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll skip two blocks and add in five. One, two, three, four, five. The block shorter. Then we'll go daily back, add in a cobblestone block, three blocks tall. Then go right over here to the front. Daily add in two blocks tall, cobblestone. And then we'll add in stone on top of that. And then we're going to add in a polished anisite on top of that. And then black concrete on top of that. And then a black stone wall here. Two black concretes. Black stone slab. Another black stone slab here. Go to the other one. Add in black concrete. Top both stacks. And then we'll add in a black stone wall here. Two blocks black concrete. Black stone slab. And another slab here on the very top. Alright, next we're going to make an L shape of black concrete. Just like that. Blackstone slab right there. And then we're going to go over to this one. And we're going to go down, add in two blocks wide black concrete like that. And then a blackstone wall right over here. Blackstone slab there. And then we're going to add black glass panes in these corners. As well as these corners here in the front. And add another one at the very top. Then we're going to add in a spruce um, fence gate. So there's going to be three blocks tall here. Open them all up. And then add in uh, upside down stone stairs like this. And then a birch fence gate. We'll open that up towards the outside part. Just like that. And then spruce fence gates underneath this area. All the way down. Just like that. And then we'll go to this middle section here. And we're going to add two blocks tall stone, actually three blocks tall stone, uh, cobblestone block here, and then another stone right there. Then we're going to add stone brick wall behind this polished anisite, make it go line it down all along the side or the back of the smokestack like that. All right, so now we're going to be making this waistline of the black line. Um, so to do that, we're doing like the upper black area. So let's take out black concrete, go to the upper one here, go diagonally out, and then we're going to add in four. So one, two, three, four, diagonally five, one, two, three, four, five, then diagonally six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then next is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's going to be 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
And at this point, we'll add in another brick slab right there. And then we're going to add in 12 blocks concrete. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And next is going to be 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we're going to add in two blocks wide, nether brick slabs here. And then we'll add in black concrete. Now this segment's especially long. It's going to be 67 blocks long. I repeat, 67 blocks. So that could like that. After we do 67, then let's go on a diagonal again. Add in black concrete. And we're going to make this segment so it's 19 blocks long. So extend it like that. And then we'll go back to this part. And then we'll add in two blocks wide of that nether brick slab here. All right. Then we're going to go on a diagonal again and add in 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go back here. Add in another brick slab in this little nook. All right. Then it's next is going to be 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Next is going to be 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to corner this side. So make this 2 blocks wide here. And then this part should be 3 blocks wide like that. So if you've done this tutorial correctly, it should, you know, <laughs> match up with the back line. If it's not, then you're going to have an issue. All right. So now we're going to go to the bottom. Take out red terracotta. Let's go down here. And we're going to count seven blocks. So after seven, uh, we'll add in red terracotta. So this is going to be seven. And the next one's going to be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the next one, it's going to be 106. So 106 blocks long. So we're going to extend that all the way across. And then the next layer is just going to be one red terracotta like that. And we'll fill it in the inside of this with red terracotta just all the way across. So it should be looking like that. All right, so next we're going to make this gray line at the top. So let's go back over here. Go to this layer. So we're going to count out three where you have that uh, gray concrete. And then go on diagonal, add in four. One, two, three, four. Then we'll add in um, tile slab. And then we're going to count four again. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to count six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll add in a slab here. Then we're going to count ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add a slab. Then eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, add another slab, then 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and this time it's going to be 2 blocks slabs. Then the next one's going to be really long, it's going to be 81 blocks long. So once we have extended it, it should be all the way here. And then we're going to go diagonal and add in 16. So I'll also use world edit for that. So 16 here and then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we're going to count 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then it's going to be 2. So 1, 2. And then it's going to be cornered. And this part should be 4 blocks wide if you did it correctly. So cool. All right, so now we're going to make this red line. So to do that, we'll go here. Go red terracotta, count four blocks here. Go dangly, add another four. One, two, three, four. Then it's going to be six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's going to be eleven. Going to use world edit for this, and then next is going to be 14, so 14 blocks, and then after that, it's going to be 20, 20 blocks, and then after that, it's going to be 48, so 48 blocks, 
and then this part after it, it goes back inside. So that's going to be 23 right here. All right, after we've done that, we're going to go down and add in five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then behind this block, make sure you're doing this behind it. We're going to add 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to go down and then we're going to add in uh, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to add in down three. So one, two, three. Then we're going to corner it, make this two blocks wide, and then another two blocks wide here. So if you've done it correctly, these should all be attached uh, right to the back section. And then we're going to add in these granite slabs. So this is going to be um, over here, three blocks wide in this little nook, as well as this nook here, just three blocks wide. So these two, so these two like so. All right, so next up, let's go right over here after this first smokestack. And then we'll go to the second layer of it, skip a block, add in stone brick slab, and we're gonna make it two blocks long, add an andesite slab, and then uh, three stone brick slabs. Underneath here, we'll add in two blocks wide stone brick slabs, and then three blocks long of stone. Then we'll add in an andesite slab up over here. And then a polished andesite block here, polished andesite stairs on the very top of it. And then acacia fence gate, open that up. Down here we'll add another two fence gates, open them both up. And then we'll add in an andesite stairs facing that direction. Then we'll add in a stone brick slab. After that, it's going to be andesite slab at the top of the bottom. And then this polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the front. And then behind it, we're going to add in an upside down stone brick stairs, stone button on top, and then stone brick slab right at the bottom of this, uh, just like that. All right, so after we're done with that, we're going to work on the ship hole. So go line up where we have this um, upper stone brick slab. And then we're going to go all the way over here to this gray part, and we'll just make this part go three blocks down like that. And this black part is going to be two. And it's going to be one red here, and then diagonally inside, it's going to be uh, two blocks tall, uh, red, and then we're going to go horizontally, we're going to add two blocks wide like that, and then horizontally again, two blocks wide. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, but uh, it's going to line up with this Y shape here, like the back of the Y. So let's go down here, line it up so it matches. And just add in three gray concretes, two black concretes, one red, and diagonally two reds, then horizontally two reds, horizontally another two reds, so that it should be looking like this. All right, so next up, we're to connect these two sides together. So this whole segment here, they're actually the same slope. So uh, yeah, we're just uh, connecting them together, however long this may be. I don't know, maybe, yep, it should be looking like this, nice. All right, so now let's work back in the front. So let's go down here, and we're gonna add in a black concrete, one on top is red, another one on top of this red, and then another one, this one's gonna be in front of this red, if that makes any sense. This one's also in the front, and you see they're sort of making this pattern like that. This part, just add one like that. And then we'll go back over here to the front and we'll add in red underneath here. Then um, deadly down two reds and then deadly down a red. It's going to be two blocks wide like that for now. All right, so for next layer here, it's going to be four on a diagonal. So one, two, three. And we can also fill in the inside of that. It doesn't really matter. So one, two, three four like that and then this part's going to be you know two blocks wide like that and then we're going to go down one block and then it's going to connect like that all right so for the next one that's going to be three so one two three like this and then we're going to go drop down one and make this uh three blocks wide like that and then we're going to go down one and just add it like this. 
All right, so for the next layer, let's go here. And we're going to add in three on a diagonal. So it's going to be one, two, three, like that. And then this, is, this part's going to be two blocks wide. Go down diagonally. Then it's going to be three blocks long here. It won't go down. Add one like that. All right, so for the next layer, we're going to go over here. Skip one, add two blocks wide here. Then go down one. It's going to be three blocks long here. Then we're going to go down one. And just like that. All right, so for this next layer, we're going to skip these two reds. And go down, add in three. Then we'll go down next layer, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll go down one layer, just add one like that. All right, so for this layer, I think this might be the last layer. So this is going to, so we're going to skip three reds here and we're going to add in five reds. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go down daily one. And then we're going to connect it all the way across to whatever this section is. So it goes like a straight line. And we're going to pretty much do this to all of the ends of these bottom lines. It's all the way across like that. And this one too. All the way across to meet up the rest of this part. And then this part as well goes all the way across. <laughs> yeah. Not much you can say about this though. But it is a method and for um this layer here, same thing, goes all the way across. We're just making the bottom of the ship. I wonder if you can call it the kneel, is it? That's the word. The keel or the kneel. So that goes all connected, very, very cool. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna go to the back part and we're gonna go skip one layer here, go down and add in five reds. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna go diagonally. And then we're going to add in nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this one, we're going to start behind it and add six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go behind again at four. One, two, three, four. Behind again at three. Three like that. Behind and add two. And then we're going to corner it. So just two like that. So it should match up with that layer. All right, so next let's go to this um, second to last layer here. And we're going to add in eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then behind add three, behind add two, and behind add two. And just add one so it connects up with the middle part. And we're going to make this go all the way across, just like that. All right, so next we're going to work on the layer second to all right, so next we're gonna work on the second red layer from the top. So let's go right over here, add in 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then we're gonna go behind and add five. One, two, three, four, five. Behind add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And behind add four. One, two, three, four. Behind add three, one, two, three. Behind add two, one, two. Behind add another two. And it should connect to that point right there. All right, so next let's work on this middle layer. So we're gonna add in seven here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then go behind at six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Behind add in four, one, two, three, four. Behind add three, one, two, three. Behind that two, one, two, behind that another two, and then behind that another two here, and then we'll connect that so it should line up just like that. All right, so once we have all of these points, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fill in the insides of these with red terracotta. So you see like this hole here, we just fill in just straight across whatever layer that is and just fill in these holes. All right, so after we've done it, it should be looking like this. So next up, let's make the propeller design. So let's go right over here where this brick is. 
and we're going to skip a block added two blocks tall of brick wall. Then we're going to add in brick stairs at two on a diagonal, just like that. Underneath, we'll add in this brown terracotta. Add in another one here. And then we'll add in this stripped spruce log here. And then a yellow terracotta there. And then a skeleton skull. And then we're going to add in an oak stairs. So there's going to be three of them. Better be right side up. This one's upside down. And then this one's also upside down at the top. Then we're going to make this segment so it's 10 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to add in 10 dark oak slabs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to add in two granite slabs like this. Then next we're going to add in a dark oak slab right on top of the other dark oak slabs. Make that go all the way across. Just like that, and I think that's it for this back section. Now let's go back into the front. And in the front, we're gonna fill in um, all of these red terracottas in. You see this giant hole? Just fill in this layer in across. All right, so next up, we're gonna go to the front, and let's go right over here. And we're gonna add in four black concretes. So one, two, three, four. And then add two nether brick slabs, so one, two. Just like that. Then we'll go up to this layer here. Skip a block, nether brick slab, and then black concrete, uh, just like that. And we can make that three blocks long like that. Then we can fill in this entire row here with the black concrete, whatever the hole is. Just make it go all the way across till it matches up. All right, so once you've done it, it should be looking like this. All right, so next up, we're going to go to this last um, curve here. And we're going to go here, skip block, add in a tile slab there. Then uh, two gray concretes, tile slab underneath there. Then gray concrete right there. Great. And now for this next one, go right here, skip a block, add a tile slab, then two gray concretes, and another two gray concretes. That's it for that layer. Then we'll go to this front or the second layer here. Got to add another one here. Go diagonal. Add another one here. For the next layer, we're going to add one underneath here. Diagonally down, another one like that. All right. So for the next layer, we're going to skip one. Add one gray concrete here, and a tile slab underneath. Then two blocks tall, gray concrete. So for the next layer skip block add in another gray concrete and then a tile slab underneath and then two gray concretes like that and then for this layer uh, we'll skip one and we'll add an l shape of gray concrete and then two tile slabs just like that and then for this one i think this is the last one uh, we're going to add in a tile slab here and then an l shape of gray concrete another tile slab there all right, so once we have all these curves, we're gonna fill in the insides of these with gray concrete. All right, so once you have done it, it should be looking like this. Now let's go work on the back section. All right, so right over here, we'll go to this nether brick slab, two blocks wide, and then we'll skip two blocks and add in three nether brick slabs and then black concrete going all the way across. All right, so next up for this layer, uh, we'll skip a block, add in another brick slab, then black concrete, and make it connect to the granite slab like that. And then for the next layer here, we're going to skip a block, add in another brick slab, and then black concrete, just like that. And then for this layer here, just add a black concrete, skip one here. And then same thing with this layer. And then go to this side, we'll add one here. And we can make this go across just like that. And then we're gonna add another black concrete right there down below. All right, so once we have this, we're gonna fill in all the holes with the black concrete. All right, so once we filled all that black concrete in, it should be looking like this. Next, we'll work on the gray concrete. So let's go over here uh, to this first point. 
And then we'll skip two blocks and we'll make um, three blocks long gray. Then we'll add in tile slab, one here, skip one, another one here, then gray concrete right there. All right, so for the next layer, we're just gonna go in a zigzag pattern down. Skip one, two blocks wide, skip one, two blocks wide like that. And then for the next one, we're gonna add in a tile slab here. And then two blocks tall, gray concrete. And then for the next one, we'll add one here. Then two blocks tall, like that. And for the next one, I think that's pretty much the same thing. So I guess two on a diagonal, it doesn't really matter. Like that. And then over here, add one here. Underneath. And then we're going to make this go across like that. Add in a tile slab here. Gray concrete there. And for this bottom section, I think we just fill that in like this. And you're going to fill in the rest of the gray concrete holes. All right, so once we filled in all that gray, it should be looking like this. Then we'll go to the back and we'll add in three birch buttons for the number. And then we'll go to the back and add in two blocks wide birch buttons there in the middle. All right, so next up, let's go right over here to the second funnel. And we're going to line up where this stone brick wall is. And we're going to go down, 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 and you get a mark it with, uh, say, and terracotta, and then I think it goes down here. And we're going to go to where we have the deck level here, and you can delete this now. And pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to fill in all this space right over here all the way to the end with Cyan terracotta. All right, so once we've done that, it should be looking like this. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for part one of the USS The Sullivan's Fletcher class story in Minecraft. And thanks again for Laffy for the original design. And please give him credit if you are building this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be splitting this up into, I think, two parts at least. So this is just part one. And you can look forward to uh, part two later on where we're going to finish, you know, the rest of the ship. Uh, but we have a lot of the hull already done, and uh, we just got to do the top section. If you want to see more tutorial videos like this, make sure you hit that like button down below. Comment below down something to help the algorithm. And subscribe if you haven't already, because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys in part two. Bye.